everyone welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you're here I'm so glad you clicked on today's video I get so excited filming these types of videos on my channel not only because it was kind of like the first ever video I made to kind of kickstart my booktube channel but it's also just one of the most fun and exciting type of videos to film when it comes to booktube I freaking love filming bookstore vlogs I love going book shopping I love going to barns I just love being in bookstores it's the atmosphere it's the smell of books as weird as that may sound I love the smell of books and I know I'm not the only one I hope <laughs> It's just the vibes. The vibes of book shopping are just immaculate. It's my happy place and everything about it is just like chef's kiss in my opinion. So obviously you guys already know by the title, by the thumbnail, by my 30 second rant just now. We're going book shopping today. I haven't done a bookstore vlog in a hot minute. I think I haven't done a bookstore vlog since the fall time. I think it's been like three or four months since our last book shopping video, which that's not okay. That is not okay on my channel. We usually go on book shopping dates at least once a month. I definitely want to keep that going this year. Try and go book shopping at least once a month together. We're at my childhood Barnes and Noble, my childhood stomping ground, which is so weird. I think I filmed a few videos here already, but anytime I make the little road trip out here, it's just, just gives me some type of feeling. I feel like a little kid again galloping around the bookstore. I don't really have a specific list of books I'm looking for, but I kind of have an idea of what kind of books I might want to check out. I know I want to see what new releases are out. I recently read Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher and she is like the queen of writing the billionaire trope in romances. I am obsessed with her books and her writing. I've also been contemplating rereading the Twisted series, which also has the billionaire trope in them. I don't know why, but I'm just craving that type of read right now. So I figured we take a gander around Barnes and see what we can find. Maybe try and sniff out a new billionaire romance for me to try out. But if you guys are like me and you like that type of trope in romance, if you like reading super fun and extravagant books, then I know you guys will absolutely love of Monopoly Go. Monopoly Go is an app where you get to escape to a reimagined world of Monopoly and you get to play as your very own tycoon. You get to experience classic Monopoly fun and visuals tailored for your phone where you get to collect properties, build houses and hotels, play with friends and family, or even play alone. Truth be told, I've actually been playing Monopoly Go for a super long time. Monopoly was one of my favorite games growing up, so as soon as it became an app that I can play on my phone wherever and whenever, it was game over for me. Any free second I have, I'm going on and playing. Something I really really love about Monopoly Go though is that you can explore new boards themed after world famous cities and fantastical lands which is so fun but also super pretty. You can also play alongside your friends and family but if you don't have anyone to play with at the time you can also play solo which is just as fun. Last but not least the coolest feature of Monopoly Go is that you can choose between good or evil. So if you choose good you get to play the game as normal, help out friends, be a goody two-shoes or you can choose to be evil and create total mayhem. Which Loki, not gonna lie, <laughs> sounds pretty fun. You still get the classic Monopoly atmosphere. It's still the same timeless board we know and love, but with some added twist and fun new games. There's always new ways to play and have fun too with tournaments and challenges added daily. So if you haven't already, I highly recommend checking out Monopoly Go. You guys can download the app using the link in my description or you can scan this cutie little QR code here to get started and become your own tycoon. Thank you so much though to Monopoly Go for sponsoring today's video. We are gonna hop right into the video though. We're gonna head into barns, scope out the area, see what's new, see what's hot, probably take a gander through the toy section because I can't help myself. I always wanna see what puzzles and Legos they have. We're gonna go on a cutie little bookstore date together and I'm so excited.
guys so i just got out of barnes right before i left i can't help myself but every time i check out i'm like i gotta go to the cafe and get a snack and a little coffee so i stopped at the cafe they have these really yummy like stuffed pretzels and i'm obsessed with them they are so delicious so i always get one when i come to barnes and then i just got a little chai latte which it feels kind of off the vibes are kind of off drinking a chai latte in january during the winter time seems really off for me just because I always drink chai lattes during the fall so I feel like it should be fall right now. I shouldn't be freezing my butt off in a ton of snow but here we are. I got a chai latte. I haven't even been able to drink it yet. They make their drinks so hot like so hot to the point where I don't even bother trying them anymore when I get them because they're going to burn my tongue. But you already know what's in this bag. I got four books total. I did have like five or six in my basket at one point, but I wound up putting two back just because I got to a point where I was like, okay, I'm not going to buy these books yet because I know they're going to be here when the time comes and when I'm ready. And one of my main goals for 2024 is to definitely lower my physical TBR. Last year, I went on a book buying ban, I want to say in like July or August, and it actually did me pretty well. I was able to get through a pretty big chunk of my physical physical TBR and I was super proud of myself. That's why I thought this year I would do a book shopping vlog, book shopping day at least once a month with you guys and then cut myself off because your girl was going book shopping like once a week in 2023 and that's one of my outs. I'm leaving that back in 2023. For the most part, the books I got... <laughs> The next 30 seconds is me trying to justify why I bought these books after telling you guys how large my physical TBR is. So bear with me. The main reason I bought these books is they're either Barnes & Noble, like special editions, exclusive editions, you can only get them at Barnes, new releases, possibly one of my favorite books of all time. Starting off strong, we have Betting on You by Lynn Painter. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, so it includes special content inside, and then the coloring of the cover and spine is actually reversed. I have been going back and forth with getting this every time I'm at Target or Walmart, wherever I am, and I see this book, I pick it up and put it down because I feel like I have a very like love-hate relationship with Lynn Painter. I read the do-over about a year ago and it just wasn't like my favorite book so it was really cute but it just wasn't my favorite and everyone says that Better Than the Movies is like their favorite book ever and that's actually on my TBR for January so I decided to pick this book up. I want to read it in February. They feel like the lovey-dovey vibes are just gonna be there for Valentine's Day in this one so I decided to pick it up. I also think it's so cute and I love that it's a hardcover. I'm really excited to add this to the show and hopefully I really like it. I love that it's a little popcorn at the top. That's adorable. I'm assuming it's gonna just be an adorable little YA romance. The first time Bailey meets Charlie, he is the worst. Are we gonna get a lot of enemies to lovers in here? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. This book is dedicated to the late Nora Ephron, the greatest rom-com writer of all time and the queen mother of automobile comfort movies and to the readers who create playlists, aesthetic boards, and full-on edits. Everyone should should be so lucky as to connect with stories in such an immersive way. While moving to Omaha after her parents suddenly divorced, Bailey finds herself trapped for 10 hours with a cynical and obnoxiously opinionated stranger, the polar opposite of her careful, well-behaved, cheery temperament. So I'm guessing we're going to get an enemies to lovers in here, a grumpy meets sunshine, opposites attract. So it looks like they meet once and then they never see each other until a few years later and they end up working at the same place. I'm assuming they're going to spark a fun little romance. I'm excited to see like what this is all about. Something else I really love about Lynn Painter is the covers of her books. They give you little hints about what's gonna happen in them and they're also just like so cute. I love the art aesthetic and like design of it. Book one is actually the first book I literally picked up in Barnes. I was like, you know what? I'm doing it. I'm going to get it today. Next up. Can you guys guess what I picked up that I most definitely didn't need but really, really wanted? It was literally my favorite book of 2023. You guys have probably heard me talk about this so much already on my channel, but here we are. The cover I have at home is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, and instead of the cover being like purple, instead of that, the flowers are pink, and then there's also, I think, extra content in that edition as well. But other than that, the books are completely the same. Did I need this? Absolutely not. I had 
no business buying this book, but I really wanted it. If you haven't read this book yet, it's basically a super fun and epic romantic read. It gives off Hunger Game vibes. If you love the Hunger Games, if you love the movies and books, you will eat this book up, especially if you're looking for a little bit more romance in it. The romance in here is just so beautiful, and I'm so excited to see what happens in the books to come. The last two books I picked up, I've had such a hard time finding both books at once at the same place, and this Barnes had both of them in stock side by side. I was like, okay, you're twisting my arm. I'm gonna get them. These are two books that have been really highly requested on my channel since last year. I've kind of put them off because I've seen other people read them on YouTube and they sound so interesting and crazy and fun. But I think the romance in them is like... That's the only thing that kind of makes me nervous about these, but like I said, so many of you have recommended them to me, so many of you have requested them as reads on my channel, so I decided to pick them up. So we have Haunting Adeline and Hunting Adeline. These are by H.G. Carlton. I really didn't have to get them today, but I just thought because they were both there side by side, I never see them together. I was like, why not? I might as well pick them up. And I do really like the look of them, and I'm just nervous if they do get reprinted, they're not gonna be like these. So truly, I don't know too too much about these. I really have just seen little breadcrumbs of these books every now and then from other YouTubers. I've gotten breadcrumbs from you guys who have recommended them to me. They're essentially dark romances. I think people started recommending me these books when I was beginning the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark, but I feel like these are going to be intense dark romances. I don't know why. I think it's like the covers. They're just, they're giving off some very dark, spooky vibes. These are the four books I picked up today. I'm really excited about betting on you. I have very high hopes for it. Powerless, I'm just so excited to add to my shelf with my other edition. And if you haven't read it yet, I highly, highly recommend. We are going to head home now. I think I'm going to take you guys along with me for the rest of my day, just because we're actually going to trivia in like a few hours. So I'm going to take you guys with. It's going to be a ton of fun. I haven't done trivia in like, gosh, definitely over six months. I haven't been to a trivia night in a very, very long time. But we used to go in the beginning of last year and it was so much fun. So we're we're going tonight. But I'm seriously so excited for trivia, guys. You have no idea. I always think, too, when we go to trivia that I'm going to know the answer to every single question. I like to think that I'm very up to date with a lot of things, but it never goes as planned. There's been trivia nights that we go to where we literally don't know an answer to any of the questions, and it's crazy. It's going to be so much fun, though. I'm gonna try and fit these two books on my dark romance shelf. I don't know where I'm going to put them exactly because it's a little bit full already, but we're gonna squeeze them in because these definitely deserve a spot. I actually had the perfect amount of space to fit them on the dark romance shelf. So happy about that. Now I'm gonna add in Powerless. So now I have both editions, which I'm really happy about. I put them at the end. That is to be continued. We have Betting on You by Lynn Painter. I don't know where I'm gonna put this book. <laughs> 